Who is Israel? Who is Israel? Say it loud. That's right. Who is Israel? Me. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people. He has visited and redeemed who? His people. That's possessive. His people. That's right. That's it. His people. Who is in need of who is in need, who is in need of saving right now? Who needs to be saved? Is it the people over at Mount Brook and who were sitting up on the hills up there? Do they need saving or they living good? Because when I last time I was over there, I seen up a Bentleys and all type of nice ass cars over there. I come over here, we got pork, we got police, we got dirt in our neighborhood. So who needs saving? Are they happy or are we happy? They happy. Read. And have visit and have raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. We are, when he said he had raised up a, a what? Raised up an horn of salvation for us. For who? Us. For us. This is our thing. This is our people. This is us, right? Give me, uh, give me uh, Deuteronomy 7, verse 6. Deuteronomy 7, verse 6. Deuteronomy 7, verse 6. Y'all got any questions? Any questions? So y'all know who y'all are, right? Y'all know what y'all got to do. Do God love everybody? Israel, me, us. God love everybody, bro. You say everybody? God loves everybody. What you say? What you say, bro? You say everybody? What you say, sis? I'm asking y'all something. Just off just all general. Do y'all love everybody? No. So I can. They don't even want to. So you love everybody? You love everybody. No, no. Do you? All right, let's see. Let's see who God love everybody. All right, let's see. Okay, Romans 13. Romans 13. Romans chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Woo! What? Y'all heard that? Read it. Romans chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. They said Jacob have I loved. Jacob is the forefather of these people right here on this side. Those are Jacob's sons, which are us. Jacob have I loved. Read. But Esau have I hated. Esau is the so-called white man. That's who Esau is the so-called white man in the Bible. They're, we say so-called because they're not white. God calls them red, the red man. What do we call him in the South? Red what? Wait, we say rednecks. God call them rednecks. Watch this. Y'all don't believe me? Y'all supposed to say prove it. Prove it. Okay. Genesis 25. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see that God call them red men. You know what I'm saying? They red. They are red people. Because why? You can see the blood through their skin. They have no they have no melanin in their skin. When they go out in the sun, what happened to them? They get sunburned. What happened to us? We soak up all these nutrients. We got we got protection. Melanin. Right. Read. Genesis chapter 25, verse 23. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb. I said two nations of people is in the lady womb. Two twins, right? So brother and sister, right? But it said two nations. Two different sets of people. They together, but they're going to be two different people. Read. And two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. So it said two manner of people. These people are going to have two different mannerisms. Read. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. Now I said one of these, one of your babies' people gonna be stronger than the other people. Now who y'all think that's talking about? What what people? What people is stronger than the other? Naturally, who is naturally stronger than the other? We're naturally stronger because think about when we play sports, football. Who's the best? Who the best basketball players? We are. Right. It said one people gonna be stronger than the other. Now, let me tell y'all this before Genesis 25, it wasn't no white people on the earth. Yeah, yeah, wow. It was all black people on the earth. It, it was not no white man on the earth before this scripture right here. That's right. It was all dark people walking right. around on the earth. That's right. right. Adam, a dark skinned man, a black man. That's right. Sister, that's it. It wasn't no white man walking around with no leaf on the earth. Okay. Read. And one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb, and the first came out red. What he came out? Red. This is the first baby he came out. He was what color? Red. What we call him in the south? White. Red. 
red necks. He was red. His baby came out red. They looking like, what the hell? This red baby. Because even through science, we're going to keep reading, sister. You know, look, think this out. We think about this. Just in genetics alone, can two white people have a black baby? No. Two black people can have a, a white baby. Right. We, that's right. We can. Scientifically, we can. Two white, two white people cannot have oh a black God. child. Scientifically, oh, right there. Read. And the first came out red. Red neck. All over, like an hairy garment. He was so red and hairy because think about it today. If the if the white man didn't have the Gillette razor, right. he would be a hairy beast right. walking around here all right. four. Right. If we didn't teach him how to bathe and shave and do all that stuff, he would be a hairy so beast. Good and groom himself, let me say that, and groom himself, he would be a hairy beast walking around. Cave man, that's where that come from. Caucasian means what? Cave man, cave dweller. You know. Read. And they called his name Esau. What they call him? And they called his name Esau. Now what did God say in Romans? He said, Jacob have I loved, but who? Esau, Esau have I hated. Have I. Well, we, who is Esau? The, brother. the red what? The red hairy baby, that's right. which is the so-called white man. And it gets deeper. Give me that Malachi. You know what I want. Hold on. We're going to get some more. And, we, and let's, see, let's see if it's talking about one person. Because y'all y'all going to be saying, well, it's just talking about it's just talking about that white It's just talking about that white man. Huh? She got to go. She got to go. Listen here. Let me tell you something. Hey, don't don't feel sorry for them. They're going to be in the kingdom too. They're going to be there. We're going to get that too. Let's read. Malachi chapter 1 and verse 1. The, the burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? I said, not one Esau Jacob's brother. Read. Saith the Lord, yet I love Jacob. There it is again. We in Malachi. He said, yet I have loved Jacob. Read. And I hated Esau. That's two times. I hated the white man. Come here, son. Come back. I hated him. Read. And laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas in himself, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Now, during the Renaissance, Esau, the white man, came back and rebuilt. I don't know if y'all ever heard of the, the Dark Ages. The, y'all ever heard of the Dark Ages in the Renaissance? The Dark Ages, we ruled Europe. The black man ruled Europe. During the Renaissance, the rebirth or rebirth, the white man came back. Excuse me, came back into power. That's when you got white Christ, That's white right. angels. That's right. They came back and rebuild. Read. But we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. Let's start right there. This is, this is the most high God. God, this is how you know God a black man. He said, they going to build it up, but guess what? I'm throwing it down. Yeah. This, only a black man would say something yeah. like that. Read. And they shall call them. The border of wickedness. It said everywhere the white man is, they the border of wickedness. That's right. It don't matter where they are in the earth. It, wherever wickedness is, the white man is going to be there or the white man policy is going to be there. It don't matter where you go in the earth. His policy is going to be wicked and he going to be wicked. They going to they gonna be behind all the wickedness on the earth. Read. The border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord have indignation. Now, hold on. You spared past now. Did it say the person? The people. It said the people. It mean all of them. Not just one person. It said the people. The people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. Say he got hatred for them forever. See, I can't change that. I didn't write this. God wrote that. That's right. God wrote that. But they're gonna be in the kingdom. Let's get that. You know what I want? Let's let's see the white man. They're gonna be they're gonna be there. <laughs> but but gonna be let's see what they're gonna be. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, God is a God of what order. He's That's about right. order. Right? right? He's about order. Read. You know, you do you do you ever see lions? Do you ever see lions running with uh deers? 
No, the lions run with the lions. The deers run with the deers, right? Up. We finna be the lions this time. That's right. They gonna be the deer. Yep. They ain't gonna be able to run with us. Read. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. He said no matter all the evil that we have done to each other, all the things that we have done disobey him, he said, I'm still going to choose Israel. I'm still going to choose these people. I'm still going to choose them, right? Because I know they're going to repent. That's I'm, right. I'm going to choose them again, read. And set them in their own land. We got to be set in our own land because why? We got we came over here as well as captives. We got to be set back to where we came from, to in our own land, right? That's right. And the strangers shall be joined with them. Now he calling the other nations strangers. He said, and the strangers shall be joined with them. Now who is these strangers? Read. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Now in that day, these people, these strangers are going to be cleaving to the house of Jacob. They're going to be holding on to you, take me with you, take me with you. they cleaving on to us, read. And the people shall take them. And bring them to their place. Now we're going to take these people. Now we're reading about something that has not happened yet. It this up. has not happened yet. So this is in the future. He said we're going to take these people and bring them over to our place. Read. And the house of Israel shall possess them. So he said we shall possess them. Now that's a powerful word, possess. So do you possess your shoes? Yep. What, that means you what? You own them. It said, "I'm gonna put. We're gonna possess these people. That means we're gonna own these That's people." Right. Read. You know. Shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. That's what they're gonna be doing, sister. Y'all ain't gonna have to get up and go to work no more. Boy, no. They ain't gonna be working for us. That's you ain't gonna have to do nothing, Bring it up. sister. If you start keeping the laws of God, that's, right. that's what it all goes back to. That's a day that we all want to see. Yeah. We all want to see those white people put in chains and, right. and serve us right. how we've been served. Yeah. That's what we want to see happen. Read that. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. He said, we're going to take them captives who captives we were. We was captives. We gonna, this, is right. this happened to us. Right. We're going to do it to them. Read. Yeah. And they shall rule over their oppressors. He said, we're going to rule over our oppressors. That's so what right. is this talking about? We're going to get the kingdom of God together. Somebody got to be the top. Somebody got to be the bottom. That's That's right. Right. And, and, and in this time, we're going to be the top and they're going to be the bottom. Give me that uh, second Ezra. I mean, uh, Ezra about to spit them. You know, on six. Yes, sir. Yeah, let me get that right quick. Yeah, we going to be on top. They going to be on the bottom. No. Let's see. Let's see. We're going to read this right quick. Read. Second Ezra chapter six and verse 54. Bring it out. Verse 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. Because it said, uh, everybody might, somebody might say, well, Adam, we all came from Adam, right? You heard that before? I heard that before. Hey, man, we all came from Adam. They said the Bible said we all, we did all come from Adam, read. Of him come we all. Right. And the people also, whom thou hast chosen. He said the people who I chosen came from Adam as well. Yes, Meaning the people right. on this sign came from Adam, right? Read. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. Who was the world made for? Our sake. Right. Look around. All this, this whole earth was made for our sake. Right. But since we didn't want to keep the commandments of God, we weren't ready for to keep the world. We couldn't, we couldn't, we wouldn't know what to do with the world right now. If we, if we had, we, if we was, if we was running the earth right now, it would be messed up. We would be, it would be messed up, right? Read. As for the other people. Now I said, as for the other people, the white man, the Chinese man, all these other nations, right? All these other nations, read. Which also come of Adam. Yeah, they did come from Adam, right? All these other nations, the white man, the Chinese man, they all came from Adam, read. Thou hast said that they are nothing. Did you say they're equal to us? Thou hast said that they are nothing. Hey, the Bible said the other people are nothing. Yeah, right. They ain't nothing. Read. But be like unto spittle. Like to what? Spittle. Like unto spit. Right. That's what the other nations are compared to to us. They like unto spit. Read. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. If you got a, if you got a water bottle, you drinking out your water and a drop fall out to the ground. Do you care about that? You don't care about that one drop. You got a whole thing of water. You yeah, one drop ball, you're gonna be like, oh well. Bring it up. That's what the other nations are compared to, to us. Yes. But in our right state of mind. And we I used to scream black power while Heron was pushed 
But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.